All right, we have Archangel Michael, protection, prevented from harm, divine intervention. You're protected. You are protected. Archangel Michael is listening to you. you some of y'all may have done a return to sender here recently. Mm. If anybody is trying to send any, any energy, any magic your way, honey, they are going to regret it because Archangel Michael is like, it's absolute no. Okay, it's no. Oh, y'all got communication coming in, love call. Someone wants to express their love. They're thinking about you and they want to let you know. Very interesting. All right. Let's hope for the best, but we'll see. What else here for the collective? Spirit guides. Envy. Envy in reverse. Some of y'all may have somebody who's resenting you. Somebody who's unhappy about your life or what you have going on here. Hopeless. Loss. Depression. Suicide. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that word. I don't I don't know if you, there's a ru uh, rule on YouTube here, but someone here is really upset. Delay procrastination and too busy. So you could be avoiding somebody here or someone could have been avoiding you in this situation. They could have procrastinated. They could have, oh man, what is going on here? Blocked. Okay, whatever this is that's going on. This is being blocked and you're protected by Archangel Michael. But somebody's upset with you and they're hopeless. They're sad. They're de really depressed. And because you've moved on and you don't have anything to say to this person, unfortunately. If somebody's been calling you, wanting to talk to you, you may have this person on block. You may not have anything to say. I, I'm getting a little bit of paranoia, some insecurity from somebody here. You may feel the need to protect yourself from somebody. And if that is the case, Archangel Michael is protecting you, all right? I feel like there's somebody watching you. Oh, man, a car just went flying across the room. I'm not going to pick up and go get it. All right. Sorry, you guys. Show me more about this person who's hopeless. What is this energy? Self-indulgent. So somebody's in some devil energy and they need to do some shadow work here. Now, yeah. wedding ring. So this could be somebody here who's married. Hmm. Show me about this person who's hopeless. Distance. So there, somebody could be going through a divorce, you guys, because this card literally says distance, divorce, ghosted, or separated. Even if this isn't somebody you are married to here, if y'all can see that, there's some distance between the two of you. I feel like you're doing good. You're protected by Archangel Michael. You, you're really not stressing about nothing. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 mm. Everybody doesn't have to be married in this situation. Maybe this is somebody that's connected to you that's still in your energy, that's still thinking about you. They're hopeless because you moved on with your life and you don't have anything to say to them. You have not answered their phone call. This is a karmic haters, third party. Mm. <sighs> Show me more here, spirit guides. We have ascending. That's what I'm saying. You, you're 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 doing good, collective. You've learned the lesson that you need to learn. You are transcending. You're moving into a new phase of your life. You're doing good here. Yeah, you're moving in abundance. Moving on up to the east side. Yeah, you're doing good. You got blessings coming in here. So, and you're, and you're healing and taking really good care of yourself, doing a lot of meditation. Maybe you're doing yoga. Maybe you're going for a run or a daily walk. Like you're doing whatever it takes to stay grounded and stay rooted and have a healthy, you know, um, mental health and even a healthy physical body as well, too. There's somebody here who's a runner, though. They escaped something. They're in denial. This is somebody here who ran from some something or someone here. This is a person who has a lot of excuses. So this past person and, and whoever this is, they're experiencing some form of legal problem. Somebody legit could either be going through a divorce 
and you may not even know about it, okay? They or they've gotten themselves into some form of legal trouble here. Oof. All right. Well, since we got karmic energy out here, I feel like masculine energy exhausted. This masculine is burned out and they're running on E right now. They're running on E. They miss your nurturing, loving energy here since this separation. They miss the wisdom that you would give them. I feel like you're someone here with a lot of wisdom and experience. This masculine actually looks up to you as somebody who's very intelligent and very smart. And they want to apologize to you for their arrogant, rash behavior, for being insincere. Um, and they're sad. But I also feel a little bit of bitterness here. I do. We, we The envy came out of reverse. I feel like this person tries very, very hard not to envy you, you know, and, and I don't think they mean to do it collective, but it's like, I feel like they envy you because your life is going well and maybe their life is not going as well. I don't know, um, but there is some form of gossip about you moving on, what you have going on, what you're doing with your life who you're currently talking to, where you're traveling to, how much you've progressed, how much you've grown since you moved on from this person with the ship energy and sipping tea. People are nosy. People are being real nosy. Keep that in mind if you post your business. You know, some people don't care who is in their business. You know what I'm saying? That's, 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 that's on you. You know, I get it. Unconditional love, receiving and giving. Fairness and love, affection, return. Blowing kiss. What's this blowing kiss energy? Let me let me see what this because you may have something new coming in here. What's this blowing kiss energy? The person who's in a regret that misses you. Okay, five of cups. It could be a cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. Um, this person misses the love, the unconditional love that you gave them. They miss the balance, they miss the harmony, they miss how giving you were. They miss how you gave them all of your advice. You know, you were very affectionate and loving to this person. I feel like someone here is, hmm, may have some addictions, some codependency issues. Okay, uh, they could be obsessed with you. Somebody here could have needed to get a restraining order on someone. That's what I was saying. I was getting some unstable energy earlier, but um, yeah. So the person that wants to blow you a kiss and pick up the phone and call you is the person that's in deep regret and they're missing you. They're suffering a really big loss, a real big loss. We are going to tap into this karmic energy and see what's going on. What else for the collective here? this situation narcissist and intimacy so you're dealing with somebody here who um i feel like there's a divine masculine here who did i say this person could be a father figure here too but they're a narcissist i feel like you guys were real patient and real kind and real loving to this person you gave it way more time way more chances than you needed to spirit was telling you a long time ago to let it go right but you i get it right it's 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 hard when you're on the outside looking in, it looks different. You know what I'm saying? Like, but once you're on the outside and you take a look at what happened back in the past, you're like, oh my goodness, what was I thinking? What was I doing? This person is definitely suffering in silence, y'all. And somebody here is really, really upset. We got suffering in silence and fed up. Spirit baby energy. Some of you all could have children with this person. So if you don't, then you may have a spirit baby on the way here. Someone could be pregnant or you could be a star seed or, a, a, you know, um, an ascended person, someone who is a divine masculine or divine feminine, you know, special part of the, a, oh, healing sent from above. When I tell you, you are favored. You have a lot of protection and favor on your life collective. Healing from above and spirit, baby, you are protected from this awful narcissist here who look at this energy. This is this is crazy. Nymphomanic. Wait, nympho nymphomaniac <laughs> orgies, threesomes, buying sex, rough sex, and you know what sex. That's the first time I've seen this card in this deck. Mm, somebody here has a sex addiction. 
this person from, ooh, and somebody's going to jail. Yeah, whoever this is is going to jail. Jail time. Somebody's dealing with, with young, young girls or young guys. I don't know where that just came from. Remember we saw legal problems? Somebody getting ready to go to jail collective. I was not ready for that. I have not seen these cards since I purchased this deck. What is going on here? What does this person get jail time for? Spirit guys. Snake energy. I, look at this. This says snake. Jealous. Envious. Hidden, in, hidden motives. Has it out for you. And then this could be an ex-friend, an ex-lover, an ex-partner, family member, or a co-worker. Just somebody here who's jealous. So somebody here who's really, like I was saying earlier, who their life, they're not feeling too good right now. They're not happy with where they are. Um, they're going through a lot right now, unfortunately. And I don't wish this energy on no on anybody. I don't. Jail is not fun. Okay? It's not cute. Um, and neither is are these habits out here. Okay? I'm just saying somebody legit could be a sex addict and again remember we saw addict nympho nymphomaniac orgies threesome buying sex rough sex and asex hello and then we got jail time somebody legit might be into some young people putting on a show somebody could have made a video and now they're going to jail somebody has proof somebody did something somebody has proof be careful because there are some snakes around you or this person that we're talking about, this karmic, they have snakes around them. <sighs> this person still thinks that you belong to them. It says, you belong to me. I really don't give an AF about them. So this person may think that you've moved on already, collective. And they want you to know that they're working on changing. But I don't see how. There's so much drama going on. Hello? I don't. They need to be handling their lead to make sure they're free. Like not going to jail. Why are they worried about anybody but themselves if they're in this energy? Because this person really, to be honest, they haven't changed. Sweetening up bull. This person hasn't changed. Mm -mm. And behind the scenes, they're really going through it here. I'm telling you. So can we get can, can we get anything? You have a heart of gold collective. Whoever I'm talking to, you have a heart of gold. Every time I see this car, I say heart of gold because that's what I get. But this is really the like ice cold, like you got an ice box where your heart used to be like a Marion type deal. Like you have a cold heart for this person, but there's something about this person. They have a cold heart right now. They're depressed. They're in this five of cups energy. Show me more about this person with the cold heart. Spirit guides. Yeah. This is somebody here who's running low on fuel. Didn't I say earlier they're running on E? Low on fuel? Like, like this person is gassed out. Gree gree. Hmm. So remember I said earlier you might be feeling the need to protect yourselves. Continue to do that. But... Again, spirit wants you to know if you've been questioning like whether or not you're protected. Yes, you are divinely guided and protected by Archangel Michael, okay? Somebody's sending you death spells. Oh my gosh. Roach, roach ass energy here. Nasty, grimy, runs from the light, hard to get rid of. Other people live off other people, okay? Lives off other people. A leech. What's this death energy with roach energy? Property damage. So this is somebody here who loves. This is somebody here who loves drama. Or is involved with some drama. Definitely has some legal issues. And going through karma. Going through karma right now. God's wrath. So let's see what's going on here. Let's hop into some more tarot. Because I don't know. I feel like 
This don't have anything to do with you, collective. I really do. What's what's this about? What's this person? Show me the collective's energy right now. What's the collective's energy, please? The sun. You're happy. The queen of pentacles. The sun. The queen of pentacles. You're doing great. You're doing good. You're doing just fine, collective. You know, money's good. You're looking good. You're feeling good inside and out. You're healthy. You're abundant. You're taking care of your kids. Uh, you're taking care of your family. You're managing your obligations. And you're doing it well. Okay? You're doing it well. You could be a Leo or an Earth sign. You don't have to be. But the point is, it's like, um, it's good over here. I'm taking care of myself. Ace of Cups, the first person you take care of is you. You might have new love coming in with this ace of cups well there you go so y'all doing good thank you spirit god so show me the energy of this person going through legal problems why is this person going through legal problems here the chariot <laughs> the police coming to get somebody oh my gosh the police are some eh. it's legit for seriously somebody may be going to jail seriously the chariot is the police coming to get somebody Mm. They could be a cancer. They don't have to be. This I hope this person doesn't try to avoid this situation. I hope they deal with it and they don't run away. That's a little bit what it's giving. Show me the energy of the person going to jail, Holy Spirit. Spirit guys have a sense of humor, don't they? If any car would have come out for jail time, the person in this Five of Cups energy is the chariot card. Show me the person's energy here that's going. That's, <laughs> the person that, yeah, thank you. The moon in reverse. Dang, somebody really could be dealing with a cancer. Wow. I just heard somebody said, I'm not scared to go to jail and I'll do it again. Who is this? Show me the person serving jail time. So the person serving jail time legit might be a Taurus or a cancer. The Hierophant. This is a judge saying, well, you know what? If you're not scared, then go ahead. Hold your arms out. Mm. <sighs> Show us this energy of this person who's a nympho and this property damage. What's this drama over here with these karmics, please? Selfish, greedy. These are people who are greedy. Nine of Cups. That's a greedy energy. This could have been, um, well, listen, there's about to be an ending to whatever they're being greedy over, whatever they wanted, whether this was money, fame, attention, clothes, shoes, cars, whatever it is, Spirit is putting an ending to this, okay? Or all of this is coming to and in because and they're there they may be facing legal issues and drug you know why did i say drugs maybe drugs has something to do with it oh my god wow um this is crazy but somebody was real greedy and they kept doing something and they were like yeah um i'm not i'm not afraid to go to jail it's like somebody thought they were thugging it i don't know somebody thought they were rick ross on the turnpike because i don't know it's, that's what it's giving. And now that is coming to a screeching halt. I've never picked up any energy like this before, y'all. Let me move to a different deck. Because that's a little heavy. Just a little bit. Show me more here about... Um... This nine of pentacles in this death card, spirit guys. Clarify the nine of cups, nine of cups in the death card. Somebody here could be a Scorpio. Somebody could be going to jail. Um, legal issues may have something to do with a child here. Or child support. Or like I did not say earlier, somebody could not be of age. Dang, and a child came out. 
show me about this nine of cups and this death card for the people going to jail. Ooh. I told y'all spirit was getting ready to put it into something. Look at what just came out. Opposition and RIP transition. <sighs> All over some money, I feel like, or money had something to do with it, or greed had something to do with it. So, who are these ops? Show me who the ops is, please, spirit guides. Who is the opposition? A twin flame is your opposition. Um, a twin flame is your opposition. A fallen twin. But you're protected from them. You are. And they're obsessed with you. Show me more about this twin flame. Twin flame could be in a relationship or this was somebody you were in a relationship with. Show me more about this twin flame. We have lust and thoughts. So this twin flame is thinking about you sexually. This person definitely has a sex addiction. We've already talked about that. And they're thinking about you, the physical, a lot. They are. Show me this twin flame energy. How is this twin? What's, what's this twin flame's energy towards my collective? They want to move towards your light. They know that you are a star seed, a high priestess. Like I said, look at this high priestess and faith on the bottom of the deck. You might be somebody here who is seen in the public eye or your community as a star seed, as someone who's a giver, who's loving. This is how your community sees you and your twin flame knows that here. They know that you are divine and you are in the star energy. They know that you are connected to source. They know that you have divine gifts. That's why I saw spirit baby earlier. You know, either you're the spirit baby or you could have a spirit baby on the way. So what is what does the twin want with the collective at this time? They're upset. They're upset with you that you're unbothered. They really are upset that you are unbothered and you're minding your own business, that you're in that queen of pentacles sun energy. They're really upset about you for that. Another reason why somebody might be doing jail time or facing some form of legal issues because somebody falsified some documents and their ass is about to get caught. They ass is going to jail. Somebody got proof over there. Somebody got proof over there. Something is about to come out. Awakening and false. Okay. Somebody here could be awakening that their twin flame is a false twin flame. That's not for everybody. So what about these false documents here? Show me more about these false documents. So um, confusion, priest, illusion, and, and flying monkey. Somebody's doing everything that they can for something to not be for something to not be seen or for something to not be public. Somebody here could be done. Like I don't know if the priest is like uh, energy of. Um, root work or like magic yet i haven't seen that energy but some this person here is emotionally unstable right now they they really are in a world of shit i really feel like i dropped a card let me see what that was <sighs> karmic feminine and endings so this twin flame could have come to the turn come to the conclusion that a karmic feminine may have falsified some documents okay they that could be what they're realizing here too 
And I don't know who's emotionally unstable right now, though. I don't. I know the masculine is in Five of Cups energy, but I don't. So it could be this this twin, or it could be this karmic feminine too, because they are losing their marbles because they're being found out. You know that. <sighs> Love spell. See, there we go. Somebody did a love spell on somebody. Somebody's mama could have done a love spell or they could have done a love spell on you if you identify as a mature woman and not older, but just like more wise, more mature. Okay. Somebody could have tried to do a spell on you. Queen of Pentacles, sun energy. They don't know you're protected by Archangel Michael and you're a star seed. Who is this karmic feminine? Show me what show me this karmic feminine's energy, spirit guys. Yeah. This karmic feminine is the one who did the magic. Priestess came out. They did the karmic feminine did magic on this mature woman. Could be you or a mature male. Flip it and switch it. And now they're in this. <laughs> mentally emotionally unstable energy show me this karmic feminine energy please karmic feminine energy what's this karmic feminine energy hold on a second because i feel like now we done switched up spirit has switched the storyline we're talking about something else because i know this ain't the karmic feminine we have high honor bliss soulmate and intuitive kev that damn show is not a karmic feminine i'm just saying okay somebody here could be in the military or you're just a vet you know what i'm saying you you're not new to the game okay uh and an earth angel you're doing good you're in this sun energy you know, soulmate here. You could have met a soulmate, um, someone, or you might be meeting a soulmate, somebody here who is your divine counterpart, who's just as intuitive and an earth angel, just like you are. This karmic feminine could have tried to block that for you, or the twin could have tried to block it from you. But we're talking about, what's the karmic feminine's energy here? Because I know that's your energy. Spirit said we're not going to talk about the karmic feminine. We're going to talk about this star seed who is ascending into their north node, who is protected by Archangel, Ma Archangel Michael. You have a new love offer coming in here. You have a new love offer coming in here from a soulmate with high honor. Remember, a soulmate with high honor. And this is going to be very ha make you very happy. It's going to be very blissful. The two of you are going to have a lot of similarities, a lot of things in common, I feel like. And there's a karmic masculine who I feel like is going to be crying. I can't make this up. There's a karmic masculine here who might be going to jail, literally. The bottom of the deck is bondage, imprisonment, self-love, and karmic masculine. Now this karmic masculine is feeling like they sh they wish they would have made better decisions. Wow. Somebody here tried to manipulate you. You're in this single, sexy, successful energy and we have manipulation directly in the middle of sweetheart and single and successful. Somebody tried to attach an entity to you so you wouldn't get new love, so you wouldn't know that you were really a healer. Yeah, sent you voodoo. Look at this. Voodoo and healer. They tried to send it towards you, but they didn't know you're protected. I don't know what it is that you do. But you're seen or you you spirit knows who you are. You have a connection. You know who you are. Wow, these people are going to get their karma. The people who are over here being jealous over either what you do for a living or what, what your, whatever your gifts are collected, whatever it is that you do, these people are envious. They are going to get karma for everything they sent to you. 
for everything they did. Some of you, some of them, their karma is going to jail, legit. For some of you, their karma is, you know, um, going crazy, being emotionally and mentally unstable. They're, yeah, I just split the deck and I'm seeing evil eye. They sent you the evil eye. Return to sender. They're concerned. <laughs> They're concerned. Oh, my, my, my. Love spell. Love spell, concern, and evil eye are here. You see how these people are looking? Whatever they sent you, they know it's coming back. Or they're concerned with, as to like why it's not working. They're waiting to figure out like why this isn't working. Uh, so, yeah. So what does the collective have coming in? What is this earth angel? What can this earth angel look forward to, spirit gods? You can look forward to whatever you've been investing in and putting your time, effort, and energy into something. Keep continuing to do that and something here is going to grow. What can the collective look forward to? What's coming towards the collective in the near future? Being happy. Getting some form of idea here. Queen of Wands, the hangman. I feel like you got some sacrifices that you're going to need to be making or there's a sacrifice that you already made and that is growing exponentially. And I feel like you're about to see a return on that after a long time. What can the collective expect here? What's coming towards my collective? After this whole debacle here, my collective... An emperor, an emperor after having felt like you wanted to give up, you never gave up the fight. You stood your ground, you know, you stayed strong, you know, you made your sacrifices. You put in the work. You did what you were supposed to do. You didn't take shortcuts. An emperor. Now, this could be you bossing up into masculine energy or like a business booming or whatever. But I'm going to clarify this emperor, okay? Clarify the emperor. This could just be you moving to a whole nother level of like strength in your life and control over your life and success. Um, bossing up. What's this emperor for my collective? What's this emperor for my collective, please? You're walking away from something. What's or he is? What's this emperor for my collective? And manifesting something new. Ooh, your counterpart, baby. Um, the emperor is walking away from something else, and they're headed towards their wish, what their wish fulfillment. They, this emperor is in King of Wands energy and magician energy. This is you too. You over here doing the same thing. Showing up in all of your beauty and your glory. Okay. Wow. That's that soulmate spirit was talking about, right? Pure bliss. Somebody with honor. Somebody loyal. Somebody you can trust. Somebody who, who listens to their intuition. You know? Somebody who you have a lot in common with. Your soulmate. Lovely. That's lovely. I feel like somebody's going to be in some dinosaurs energy crying. But too bad, so sad. Because that's karma. <laughs> the wheel. <laughs> you moving on. The wheel must turn. Spirit says so. The wheel must turn. And this is you celebrating four wise energy foundation. Huh? Celebration. Child, somebody about to be home. Stressed out. I don't feel like that's you. I'll see y'all later. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. If you need a personal reading, you know where to find me. That information is below in the description box. You can email me and go to the, directly to the website. Um, join us on Patreon too. If you're into Twin Flame readings, we do extra readings over there for only $5 a month. We also do Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine readings over there as well. So I'll see you guys later. And I hope the reading resonated for you. All right. See you later. Bye.